Hello, I thought I'd make a quick video to show how the idle air control valve, also referred to as the idle speed control valve, works on the 3S GTE engines found in Toyota MR2s and Celicas. I recently designed and built a new side feed intake manifold using a Lincoln 70mm throttle body and needed to relocate my idle air control valve and adjust how it affects my warm up idle. I wanted the valve to open enough to maintain a good idle at cold startup and then close as much as possible once the engine was warm. My valve may look a little different because I cut off the two tubes that ordinarily allow coolant to flow through the throttle body to warm it because I don't drive the car in winter. The valve can be adjusted using this plate at the back and on the other side is the three pin connector. I found that my valve was also leaking boost at two locations between the aluminum body and the plastic actuator section and from the two bolts that fasten the actuator section. I made a Teflon gasket and used two slightly longer bolts with washers and grommets to seal off all of the leaks. To test the operation and movement of the valve, first clean it very well with carb cleaner. Then we apply 12 volts of car battery power to the center pin and then apply a ground alternately to the RS open and RS closed pins. We can see that the valve responds properly, but neither fully opens or closes. We cannot adjust how far the valve opens, but we can adjust how much range it has towards closed. If you do need to change the setting, loosen the two screws on the range adjustment plate and it can be rotated to decrease its range or in my case, turn it to full range, which should allow the valve to fully close. Now we can see that the valve closes fully. In reality, the valve does not seal in an airtight fashion. It still allows me to blow a little bit of air through it, but this should still produce the results I need. Check out my other videos for more information such as how I control the Tevis system for increased performance, air-to-water intercooling, and 4-inch aluminum exhaust, or visit my website at mk15.ca. Thanks for watching.